I am each and everything. What the fuck, guys? Come on. Okay. That's much better. Welcome to the 500 subscriber Q&A video, which has now turned into the 1,000 subscriber Q&A video. Thank you guys so much. I think we are just over 960 subscribers now. Absolutely incredible. Um, to put that into perspective, let's say uh, uh, you had a full-time job, where all you did, Monday through Friday, full-time job, where all you did was watch my videos over and over and over. Wouldn't that be a great job? Uh, you guys have collectively spent 228,415 minutes watching my videos. So if we turn that into a full-time job, which is, let me remind you, the best job in the world, that would be 475 days at work already. Absolutely incredible. I am so honored. Thank you guys so very much. I um, absolutely love reading all of your comments and having fun with you guys and uh, hopefully educating some people. We're going we're gonna to work on that later. Um, before we dive into the q and I've, I've got a pretty exciting announcement for you guys. Uh, if we could get a drum roll. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Um, if you watch my previous videos, uh, I've been talking to who purports to be the owner of a scam company out of Dhaka, Bangladesh. And from my research, I do believe that he is the owner or at least one of the owners of this, this scamming tech support scam company. And he has so very graciously agreed to do an interview on the show. So very excited about that. We're coordinating right now, trying to find a, a time to schedule this interview. And uh, I'll have it published as soon as we get it recorded. I'm really excited about this. So um, it'll be quite interesting to see into the mind of um, someone who runs one of these scam operations. But on to the Q&A. Um, starting off, we've got DC Babe 0270 who says, Q&A video! Yes, you're exactly right, DC Babe. This is the Q&A video. Thank you so much for your question for the Q&A. Uh, Privateer Studios, for the video reply thing at 500 subs, what got you started on exposing scammers? So I've, uh, I've always known, uh, you know, being a software engineer and in the technology industry, I've always been aware of and, and kind of followed the, um, the uh, technical support scam industry, I guess you could call it, although I hate to say that and legitimize it. Um, and I've done in the past, I've done, I've done some, some baiting calls and some honeypot calls, never recorded or anything just for, for personal novelty and, and gaining information. Um, but I came across, you know, Lewis Tech Hoax Hotel, Stop uh, Phone Scammers on YouTube uh, more recently, and really like the work that they're doing. Um, and so I'd say they're the inspiration for me starting. I don't want to take anything away from those guys. They're fantastic. Um, I'm just sharing my experiences and and, um, and what I see out of these guys. So it's been a lot of fun, but Lewis Tech, Hoax Hotel, all those guys, great inspirations, um, and definitely where I got my inspiration from. Andy Potter asks, I really like your style. The scammer had no suspicion that you were playing him. Do you realize he said go ahead 33 times during the call? Keep up the good work. Great to see your subs growing. Thank you so much, Andy. 33 times is ridiculous. I noticed he said it a lot, but holy shit, 33 times. Um, quite an interesting metric to count. So thank you for that. Maybe someday I'll make an infographic um, with everything that we learn here on the on the Each and Everything YouTube channel. Um, and, and maybe we'll dump that little tidbit in. So thank you, Andy. That's quite interesting. Team Pikapai says, your videos are good and I do enjoy them. Question, what is it like messing with scammers? Um, that's a very multi-dimensional question, I think. Um, I don't think there's I don't think there's a straight answer for it. There's a lot of feelings that you get. Um, anger, because this is fucked, and you know they're doing it to hundreds and thousands of people a day and, and stealing... You, the, let's face it, it's stealing money from people. That's all it is. Um, a little bit of anxiety or um, adrenaline. At least I try to focus on stringing them for a long as, as long as possible and getting as much information out of them. So you're always trying to perfect your virtual machine and perfect everything that you do to make it very hard for the scammer to discover that they're in a virtual machine or that they're talking to a scam baiter. Um, and a little bit of joy when you call these guys out and you know that you've wasted their time and maybe it's just, even if it's just one person that they haven't scammed out of their money, um, I think it's a success in my book. 
Stussy says, good to see you back. Keep up the awesome videos of exposing these scumbags. And I suppose as an idea or suggestion, you could try to do a dual video with another scam baiter like Stop Phone Scammers, Scammer Revolts, or Lewis Tech, to name a few. Great idea, Stu. I am all on board for that. Um, I'm actually in talks with uh, one of the people you've named. I, I won't say anything right now um, on, a, on a partnership um, and certainly something I'm very open to. If we wanted to talk particulars, one person that I really want to do a collaboration video with is Hoax Hotel. If you guys aren't familiar, he does, um, he does uh, you know, like IRS scams, um, flipping scams, uh, monkey scams. Yeah, quite interesting. Um, really great guy, really funny, very unique way of, of doing things and very unique way of talking. And it just, I die laughing every single time. Um, and he's done a couple tech support calls, but I've noticed that he doesn't really use a VM. He doesn't have a VM for them to connect to or anything. Um, so he'll do the preliminary part and get them real riled up, um, but hasn't really been able to string them along for the entire thing yet. So if you're watching Hoax Hotel, I would absolutely love to do a collaboration video with you. Uh, my virtual machine, your amazing talents together. Yeah. Um, seriously though, uh, we can use my virtual machine you can do the call, do everything, get them into the virtual machine, run your whole rigmarole, and we can go through the whole thing with them. I would absolutely love to do that. Uh, if you guys think that's a good idea, tweet Hoax Hotel on Twitter, tag me in it, each and everything YT, and let's see if we can get them on board, because I think that would be a lot of fun. So thank you, for, thank you for the comments, Stu. That's a fantastic idea. Isolate says, LOL, I love it when you troll scammers. Also, did you make that intro yourself? Very impressive. Earned a subscriber. Also, do you think that if you reach 1,000, you can make your videos in 60 frames per second? Uh, a couple questions here. Did I make the intro myself? No. I'm a dirty, dirty fraud. I used a free After Effects intro that I found somewhere. I will take credit for syncing up the dubstep beats to the intro video. So thank you very much. I'll take credit for that. But I am a dirty, dirty fraud. Uh, 60 frames per second if I hit 1,000. Um... It's something I'll consider. There's a lot of implications with that. File size is much larger. Um, upload times are longer. And I'm not really sure. Um, you know, YouTube does not default to 60 frames per second if it's available. I'm just not sure how beneficial it will be. Um, but it's certainly something I'll look into. And if it's feasible to do and it's not overly taxing on, you know, recording, rendering, uploading, all of that good stuff, then that's something I'll certainly consider. Cameron Hurd says, okay, I know it's an inside joke each and everything. So, okay, so Cameron Hurd is a, a longtime friend of mine. I think we've been friends for over six years now. Um, I don't remember exactly how we met at this point, but we've always, it's interesting, we've always had the same interest, whether it be audio engineering, um, stage lighting, video production, whatever it may be, we always kind of seem to share those interests. Um, and he has been a really good friend to me, and I hope uh, he would say the same about me. So that's just as a little background on Cameron. Um, I know it's an inside joke, ENA, but please let me hear your reaction to the following hashtag, dot, 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 hashtag for the lady. What? Okay. Moving on. Uh, moving on, Pugalug writes about three paragraphs. I really like your style of handling these scammers. You and Hoax Hotel are my favorite. One idea, something I find near the end of the video when you reveal you've been baiting a scammer along. Uh, I was thinking, what if you pre-type a notepad, something along the lines of your IP address is yada yada, your website's been reported to whoever hosts the website, your fast support ID has been reported, your phone number's been reported, yada yada yada. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. It's something I'll try to add to future videos is more of the calling them out and explaining exactly what I'm going to do to try and ruin their lives. You know, obviously these guys are in foreign countries reporting their IP, reporting their phone number. doesn't do jack shit. Um, sometimes if you want, if you manage to figure out who their credit card processor is, like Authorize.net or Bill Pro, uh, that can lead you in the right direction. You can at least get that shut down. Um, so certainly something I'll, I'll work on adding to future videos. Not sure how great you are with custom programs, but another idea, I was thinking a custom syskey where instead of opening syskey, it opens several pop-ups saying, Marucho, don't syskey me. Um, yeah, good point. That's something I'd like to add. I've actually been working on getting Dark Comet set up, um, which is a rat for those of you who aren't familiar. Um, a scammer ran Malwarebytes and wiped out my Dark Comet install on my VM the other day. 
<laughs> so, but still working on that. But yeah, overriding syskey is a good idea. I've overwritten, um, there's a, I forget now, but there's a couple of utilities that I've overwritten simply to not reveal some types of information. Um, I enjoy watching anti-scammer videos. I don't agree with some people's attitudes about scams of if you're that stupid, you deserve to be scammed because I believe it's way more complex than that. It only makes scam victims feel worse about themselves. Absolutely. None of, no, no victim blaming, victim shaming here. Um, you know, I've fallen for, for tricks and scams in my life, not tech support scams. Um, I think everyone has at some point. And, you know, the, the technology and the resources that we have available to us today on the internet is so incredible. Um, and, and I really truly want everybody young and old east to west to experience, you know, everything that the internet has to offer, uh, you know, and, and I don't expect if you're on the internet for you to be some genius, you know, um, shit happens. And, and these guys are really good at making things look legitimate. I won't lie. If I didn't know better, I would think, yeah, um, event viewer shows a whole bunch of errors. That seems plausible. You run dir slash s, or is it tree slash s in command prompt? It totally looks like it might be scanning for viruses. It's totally plausible. So no, absolutely no victim shaming here. Um, I completely agree with you there. And, and I do think we need better education on the topic. So uh, I, am, I am working on that. That's coming uh, here very soon. Um, I'm going to work on an educational video with kind of some cuts and explaining things. Maybe something that you can share with friends and family. Um, that's not necessarily just fuck you, mara chode, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Packaged on Easy says, yo, do you have a favorite color? Mine is teal, like the hair in my profile picture. Yes, my favorite color is black. Snail123 says, was that your real info? Um, no, I don't use my real info in videos. Fakenamegenerator.com is usually where I get my name and um, my, my address, my, my credit card number and things of that nature. Um, I always use the first name Michael, and um, the rest of it I get, I usually go into the region selection and, and filter to California, since I am uh, on Pacific time. Um, it just makes it easier that way, and I know uh, I know California well enough, so if a scammer would throw a curveball at me and say, oh, do you know city XYZ that's next to ABC? Um, you know, I could answer some, some logical questions about the area. Uh, Nikolai A. Sondresen Kavam says, have you considered using a virtual box? Nikolai, I use uh, VMware Workstation 12. Um, virtual box is very similar in, in feature and function to VMware. I believe virtual box is free uh, and VMware is a paid service. Um, both have their, their, uh, their merits. VMware is just what I prefer, but I do use a virtual machine when I do this. It's not actually my machine. Um, and our last question, Dieselhead says, I think an episode with the VM running a Linux build that's meant to look like Windows would be pretty funny, would totally ruin their scheme and blow their minds. A couple other guys have done this. It's absolutely hilarious. I've actually got an Ubuntu VM installed with a Windows 10 theme installed on it. Uh, looks pretty dang good. I, I tried to record a video using it the other day. Um, this, the, uh, the scammer caught on pretty quickly though, when he couldn't, I, you know, I'm not sure what he's doing is something through log me and gave it away. So, but I am working on finding someone gullible enough to, uh, to try and, and make that futile attempt. So, um, yeah, coming soon. Anyways, I think that wraps it up for this Q and a video. Thank you guys so much for the 960 plus 50 plus subscribers. Almost. We'll probably be at a thousand by the time this video is released tomorrow afternoon. Thank you so very much. I appreciate each and every one of you and have a fantastic day. Subscribe and follow.